TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. You got the uh, Russell that's off nine points. The train is down 18, 19 points. All the other US indices are trading to the upside. Dow's up 19, basically flat out there. 22 points for the S&P, nearly a half percent, six tenths for the NASDAQ 100, trading up 115 points. You've got uh, gold that's trading up $19. Silver's up 36 cents. Lights Recruit is up a buck 46. Natural gas is up three pennies to the 30-year treasury. Back five ticks, printing out at 122 and a quarter. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. Let's begin with the ES Mini. The ES Mini, so we've got two different sets of profiles out here. Uh, the white background chart that you don't see is at 5408. We are sitting right at the oscillator and change line right now. And here you can see you've got a profile that doesn't begin until you get to the 5408 level. Now, if this is just a counter trend move in the ES Mini, because that's a bullish structured profile that we're looking at, price should uh, find resistance at 54.56. Spot volatility is still trading below or above its 50-day exponential moving average, but below Friday's low out there. It's making a beeline for that 50-day exponential moving average at 17.10. So my suggestion for those of you that are looking to short the S&P 500, why don't you wait to see what happens with the spot VIX as it gets that 17.10 level and wait to see what the ES Mini is doing between the areas of 54.08 and 54.56. The NQ, again, I had two different sets of profiles. Right now, though, price is sitting at its oscillator and change line. We'll see that when we take a look at the uh, Trader's Ed show. We can also see, though, this is a bullish structured profile. And, you know, was price below it for two days? The answer is no, it really wasn't. But here's the thing. We want to watch this 18,770 level. If, in fact, price closes above that because of the bullish structure profile, that should give us a run to the 19,480 to 19,717 area out there. U.S. dollar index needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern price consolidating with inside its daily profile between 102.22 and 103.26. Gold is headed towards its swing point from the trading session of a J a July 17th, between the range of 2,504.70 up to 2,537.70. Uh, uh, you've got silver that has a buy the D point bottom. Price trade with inside his profile. First level of resistance that is tackling is at 20, 2821, and the next one will be 2935. You can see lights three crude. It's taken on the top of its profile. Close above 78.16 is going to suggest higher price. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you often start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.